The Southern Conference portion of the Wofford Terriers schedule opens today here in Macon, Georgia, as the Terriers take on the Mercer Bears. Good afternoon, everybody. We're at Five Star Stadium, where today the Terriers, two and two, coming off a 16-0 shutout of Gardner-Webb a week ago at Gibbs Stadium, take on the Mercer Bears, who enter with a two and one record. A week ago, Mercer lost a tough one, 29-22 on the road at Tennessee Tech, a team Wofford beat earlier in the season. The Terriers beat Mercer a year ago at Gibbs Stadium, 34 to six. Can Wofford make it two in a row over the Bears and get their conference schedule off to a good start? Here are your highlights. Third and four, Mercer at the Terrier 38. Russ out of the gun, flat pass near side, knocked away by a diving Drake Michelson, incomplete ball. They wanted the tight end, Robert Brown, but Michelson lays out and bats that pass away. First and 10 from the Terrier 26 now. Again, it's Mitchell, wants to come Fumble. back to the left and he fumbles the ball. Drake Michelson picks it up for Wofford to the 30. Near side, slanting right 40. Drake to the 50, caught from behind at the Mercer 45 yard line. First down Terriers on the turnover. Marquise Irvin, a wide receiver, caught up to Drake Michelson, but a long fumble return and Mercer gives up the ball when they were showing some promise on that drive. Wingbone this time with one receiver to the wide side. That's the left. Smith in motion left, and as Goodson wants to hand off the ball, he is hit from behind. The ball is out, and Mercer gets it right back. A fumble recovered by the Bears. Scoreless, six and a half to play in the first quarter. Four receivers for Russ, two either side. Terriers are going to bring five. Russ wants to run the quarterback draw, and he's bottled up in the backfield. Terrier football as he is brought down at the 36-yard line. Miles Brown, the freshman out of D.C. from his nose spot, along with Daryl Vining, make the play on defense for Wofford. Terrier football. Split to the right. Mercer, three down linemen. They stack the box with eight. Man in motion left, Raymond Smith. Handoff fullback, Lorenzo Long. Takes it over the left side, cuts it back to his right at the 20. He is bowled over at the 15-yard line, close to another Terrier first down before Jeremy James, the corner, has to stop him in the secondary. Nice cutback by Lorenzo right there. Yeah, absolutely. Put his foot in the ground and then went the other way with it. Are Colvin and Lorenzo Long. Mercer showing run blitz, handoff. That's a good jump cut by Colvin as he takes it to his left to the five, touchdown! Nick Colvin with a gorgeous jump cut in the backfield, takes it on in for the score, and the Terriers are on the board first. That was Patterson coming again on that blitz, and the Terriers had the answer for it that time thanks to some athleticism by Nick Colvin. Two receivers split to the left, Bears go out of the gun. H-back shifting right, they'll toss it in that direction and to carry to the right side and Mitchell after turning the corner gets a little bit to out to about the 34 yard line. Daryl Vining had a good angle and brought him down from his outside linebacker position. Daryl Vining an accounting major. The line of scrimmage is the 26, it is fourth and three. Snap on the way, a good one. Hold down, kick on the way. Has plenty of distance and he got it. Jagger lead with a field goal. Wofford starts this drive from their 20 right to left. Evan Jacks out of the gun with a single back station behind him to his left. Fake of the dive to long. Option left and there's the seam for Evan near side 30. Evan Jacks down the numbers 40. Blocker out in front at the 40. Cuts it back inside at the 30 all the way down to the Mercer 20 yard line. Evan Jacks runs for 60 yards. First down Terriers Jeremy James the corner brings him down. You love it when you're an option quarterback and you get out there and you have the pitch man and there's only one other guy. The defensive player kind of floated a little bit toward the pitch man and Evan made a great decision. Didn't even fake it, just tucked it up and ran. Huge gain by Evan Jacks. Longest running play of the year for a Terrier back. First and 10 at the First Mercer 20 as Jax gallops for 60. Had a nice downfield block from a receiver. Breads it out. Mercer, three down lineman. Five on the line of scrimmage. And it's a fake of a dive to Nelson. Pitch near corner, touchdown run, Raymond Smith. Well executed play, fake the fullback. They all bid on it. Nice decision by Evan and Raymond Smith with a good block out there. I think it was Zach Muller, the tight end, that allowed him to get into the end zone. Two receivers to the right. The outside man is Irvin. Out of the pistol, handoff, Mitchell wants to come right side, takes it to the 10, to the five, diving for the pylon, touchdown Mercer. 
T. Mitchell. Yeah, stretch play, and he used his speed to get to the corner. It was a good block. Terriers couldn't set the edge. Second and two Terriers from their 26. Handoff right up the middle. Big hole. Taken to the 30, to the 40. Lorenzo Long, 50. Near side, 40. 30 to the 20 to the 15 high tackled at the 13 yard line a big run for Lorenzo Long he had a hole up the middle Zach Jackson the free safety finally high tackled him to the ground Ryan Sanders will hold it snap coming it's a good one kick on the way and somebody got a hand on it it's blocked and no good and the first half ends with Wofford still holding just a three-point lead. Or from the 31, out of the gun, Russ, as they go from the pistol formation. And Russ, after play action, will roll to the near side, throws, leaping catch at the near sideline, made for a first down at the 50. Backs from the gun, linebacker coming up on the outside, showing blitz, Jack throws near side, good catch made at the 30, and taken up the near sideline by Paul Nelson, 35, he'll run out of bounds at the 40-yard line, first down reception, third and four at the Bear, 28. Shotgun for Jacks with two backs, a wing set up to his right. Mercer, three down lineman, wide splits. Hand off right up the middle. That's a big carry. First down run, Raymond Smith inside the 30, 25 to the 20. He is spun down at the 17 yard line. 11 yards for big play, Ray. Mercer now six on the line of scrimmage. Man in motion left, Jacks fakes the dive, curls up behind right side of the line to the five, and he'll back his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. Evan Jacks. What a great drive to start this second half, and the Terriers really getting the job done with the offensive line. Man in motion coming toward the near side. Russ running the option left. Pitch away to Mitchell. Breaks the tackle initially, but he stopped at the 30-yard line. It'll be Wofford football. 158 to play in the third. First and 10 Bears, they start from their 35. Out of the gun, Russ, play action. Here comes pressure and the pass is intercepted. Oh, Jaleel Green had a pick six in his hands. He was off to the races and he dropped the Russell ball. Jackson it's an incomplete pass. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh. the intended receiver was Josh Jones. Green jumped the route and would have had an easy pick six. Even took a half a stride with the ball yeah. in his hands and he just Plain dropped it. Oh, Jaleel. Van, what did you see? Oh, y'all missed the best part. He, when he dropped it, he laid on the on the uh, turf. Coach Ayers, with his left hand, picked him up off the turf. <laughs> uh-huh. Receivers go in motion right, and two go in motion to the left. Empty set for Russ out of the gun. Terriers bring pressure. Ball caught on the pass down the middle. Sam Walker, 20 to the 15. He is tackled by the ankles and rolled down at the eight yard line. Nick Ward kept him out of the end zone. They work out of the pistol with a wing to the right. Russ pivots right, hand off right side. Easy stand up touchdown, T. Mitchell. Jack shotgun snap coming. Mercer, four on the line of scrimmage. Hand off long, right up the middle, he's got room. He's to the 40, Lorenzo races to the 30. 20, 10, they're not gonna catch him. Touchdown, Terriers, Lorenzo Long. Forget what I said about fresh legs, just keep, keep giving it to Lorenzo. 53 yards up the gut. That was an emphatic touchdown run, and again, the offensive line doing a tremendous job opening up that hole. Receivers, two to the right side. Russ takes the snap, Terriers bring four. Here's pressure, and he's sacked. Taken down by Brandon Curtis. We just talked about him. 13-yard line, that play loses nine. It is fourth and long. No tight ends in this formation. Mercer, seven in the box, four linemen. Hand off right up the middle, and Chase Nelson breaking tackles. He's to the 30. Chase Nelson to the 20, to the 15. He will be bowled down at the 12-yard line. First and 10, Wofford. Jacks out of the gun on first down, fake of the dive, pitch near corner and the ball is on the ground and Mercer has it. Lorenzo Long could not catch the pitch and Corey Lockett has come up with the football. Mercer is going to take over down three. On three receivers, two to the left. Wofford three down linemen. Shotgun snap coming. Terriers bring four, he's got time to throw. Flat pass caught far side, taken by Ward to the 45 to the 40. Avery Ward is stopped at the Terrier 38. Fourth and three coming up. Here's the snap. Russ looking around, zips it down the middle, caught by Brown at the 25 to the 20. He is knocked over at the 18 yard line. Still formation. 
And it is a handoff. Mitchell wants to skirt right, and the Terriers stop him at the six-yard line. Six seconds Even remaining. Final timeout used by Bobby Lamb. Dylan Young with the tackle. The field goal. The dead. snapper is Abernathy to tie the game and force overtime. Snap coming, hold down, kick on the way, and it is good. And with three seconds left, we are tied at 27. 10 unanswered points for Mercer, but the Wofford defense made overtime begins. First and 10 from the 25. And out of the shotgun play action for Russ. He wants to go for the whole thing. Man wide open, caught, touchdown, Avery Ward. Far corner of the end zone. Oh my. Hit on the play action, wow. There was nobody near Avery Ward. He broke open on an out pattern. They put the ball on the left hash mark and they threw to the right corner, right front corner of the end zone. And there wasn't a Terrier within 10 yards of him. Maybe five at most, or at least. Extra point try coming up here for Lieb, and this is important now. Yep, big. Snap on the way, and the kick is... Missed it! No good, he missed it to the right. Well, isn't that interesting? Two men come to the left. Again, two backs behind Evan Jacks as he'll set up in the gun. Jacks clapping his hands. Man in motion left, handoff right up the middle. Lorenzo Long will push the pile forward. First down Lorenzo run to the 14-yard line. He got two. The play call on first down out of the gun with two backs again. Fakes the dive, turns left corner, Evan to the five, yeah. diving, that is a touchdown! Touchdown Wofford, an extra point can win it! Evan Jacks, 14 yards! God, he's so tough. Takes a shot in the ribs and the kidneys earlier and dives in there, giving himself up. All right, David Marvin. Extra point to win it. The holder is Sanders, Ross Hammond will snap it. Snap on the way, spot down, and the kick is good! And the Wofford Terriers have won their conference opener! Never has an extra point been celebrated so robustly. Quite a night here in Macon, and the Wofford Terriers are 1-0 and in SoCon play as they beat the Bears in overtime, the entire bench came flying out onto the field. And they are celebrating this one. An overtime win. Your final score here tonight in Macon, Georgia. The Wofford College Terriers, 34. And the Mercer University Bears, 33. Yeah! 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 Moral of the story is this. It only gets tougher. Yep. We got to go to Charleston. Yep. Next Saturday, them guys, they had last week off, they're going to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. We battle. We battle. There's a bunch of you cats that are bruised, battered, and some of you eat bleed. But if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Tremendous job of hanging in there. You kept chopping, you kept believing, and we finally got it done. Yep, yep. Last but not least, Take a knee. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 Lord heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we give those who trespass against us. Give us the consultation, the religious people, God's kingdom, our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Tito! Yo, yo! That last play, I mean, the guys, uh, Guys blocked it perfectly. Um, Chandler, I told Chandler he made a great block around the outside there. Um, I pulled it. Um, they went to pitch, and um, I saw a lane, and I just took it. I mean, they made adjustments. Mercer's a good football team, and um, it was just a great game overall. Um, still with the run. Great, great. SoCon win, and he wins a good one. You're next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is so still here? Yeah, yeah, we got to do okay, him. Okay, we're yeah, going to yeah. do a duel. Are we? Right, do you want to do a duel? Yeah. All right. You ready? Lorenzo, uh, talk about that, that overtime drive. They kept feeding you the ball, and, and what was it like tonight? You, you carried the ball 30 times almost. I mean, like, 
really in the overtime, you know, all I was thinking was just hold on to the ball and just get as many yards as I can just to keep us in the game, really. What to, what was it like giving that lead up and then having to regather yourselves to get ready for overtime? I mean, I, I knew we um we had a we had a bad play on offense that kind of put us in a hole and defense was trying to keep us in the game, but you know when it came to overtime, we was going to execute and get get the win. What's it feel like to get a conference win to get things started in SoCon play? Man, that, that feels great. That's what we came out here for. Now let's bring in Coach Mike Harris. Congratulations, Lorenzo. Uh, Coach, yes. had them all the way, right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know how many ulcers that was created at from this four quarters, but there's a bunch of them. Uh, tough game. We, we knew it would be. Uh, they had two weeks to prepare, and uh, – and, and we were our own worst enemy uh, during the game. We, they did some things. We didn't respond. We didn't uh, adjust as quick as we needed to. Uh, offensively, uh, had a good night, but not a great night. Anytime that you about lose the game on, on a bad pitch, uh, that's, that's one of those things that, that it, it's tough. Even though you, you had a I don't know how many yards we had, but we had a slew of them rushing. And um, the the best thing was, and the thing I take a, a great deal of pride in, is the way that the kids hung in there. It, it looked like we had it, and then all of a sudden, they, they snatched it from us. And then it comes down, their kicker misses a kick. Um, our guys know that what we've got to do is score and make a kick. And that wasn't the easiest thing tonight. Uh, but. We came out, we executed. Uh, Lorenzo had an unbelievable night. Our fullbacks, matter of fact, had an unbelievable night. And uh, I thought Evan, uh, you know, he, he got his uh, left shoulder a little dinged, and uh, he hung in there and uh, did a nice job executing, making plays, making runs. What kind of adjustments had to be make, made on the uh, placement kicking? You know, a couple of missed early, a, a couple of blocks? Yeah. Well, the, the biggest thing we did was get aligned right. Uh, we had some young guys in there, and they kind of uh, didn't line up the way that they needed to to, uh, to secure the edge, and, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it created problems for us. Um, I'll have to look at the film and see our operation time, uh, but, you know, we, we at least made the adjustment and had an opportunity to win the game uh, on a PAT, and we did. Mercer had a chance to win the game on their last regulation possession. They get inside the 10, they get down to the 3. What did your defense do so well to keep them out and force that field goal? Somebody made a play, and uh, they, they didn't give up. And, and that's, that's the whole thing. Uh, if you're going to win a championship in this league, and it's a very difficult league, Everybody is better. Uh, you've got to make plays uh, offensively when the time's there, and then defensively you've got to come up with a stop. And uh, we were able to, to get it done. Uh, they, they kicked the field goal. We go into overtime. And it, it's amazing how tonight, uh, last week, it was pouring down rain in, in Spartanburg. It's just a light mist here. But uh, it, it seemed like that uh, – I don't know if the weather affected the kicking game, but it wasn't quite as crisp for us. And, and they, then they had the, uh, the issue at the end. Citadel next week, and they, they have a week off, just like Mercer did. Wow. Uh, I've watched them um, as the season started. Uh, they're a team that is tough. They're hard-nosed. Uh, they do what they do extremely well. Uh, they have good players, and uh, and you better stop the fullback because you're going to see a big dose of him. Uh, we've got to do a great job defensively. We have got to uh, tackle better in space than we did tonight. Uh, we missed way, way, way too many tackles. And I guarantee you this, we're going to have some open field tackling come practice. But uh, the, the big thing we got to do is uh, circle the wagons, uh, come back, understand that there's certain things that, that we've got to get better on. We've got to have a sound game plan, and then we've got to go down there and we've got out, out to out-execute them. That, that's what you're going to have to do. They're not going to beat themselves. You've got to out-execute them. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, man.
So on a rainy night in Macon, the Wofford Terriers got one out. They win in overtime over the Mercer Bears, 34 to 33. The Terriers now 1 and 0 to get conference play started. They win a second straight, now 3 and 2 overall. While the Bears drop to 0 and 1 in league play, they are 2 and 2 overall. And now the focus shifts to the Citadel. Wofford again will be on the road next Saturday. Will be at Johnson Haygood Stadium in Charleston as Wofford will take on the Bulldogs, a team the Terriers have not lost lost to in 17 years. Can Wofford make it 17 in a row? We'll find out. That's a 2 o'clock kickoff again in Charleston. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.